Uh, how you doing, folks? It is coming up on 2 o'clock in the afternoon here on a very uh, pleasant, uh, not too hot uh, Sunday afternoon here. And um, I am so tickled today because I went to Winn-Dixie and I wound up getting these here large eggs uh, courtesy of a nice woman in the place um, who had told me about them that they were only $3.99 for a dozen eggs. And folks, uh, a dozen large eggs is $6 over at the other store like Kroger's or Publix or whatever it is, Food Fair, whatever it is. So unless you're at one of those offbeat places like Aldi, which I don't, I don't get near anymore, um, this was really quite a treat. So I gave her my channel and I hope she's with us. And she was a really nice woman. She was really nice. In fact, I went back into the store um, after I checked out and I said, let me give her my channel because she was so nice. So I didn't ask your name, ma'am, but if you are watching right now, you're among friends and um, you are certainly part of my family. And I thank you for um, being nice to me today as I went on a tirade uh, in line to all the people complaining about their groceries and a lot of them were black people explaining about how they used to get groceries stacked up that much higher in the cart and I said well keep following directions I said you got uh, Ukraine there and it's a lot of stuff's gonna go over there and you're gonna pay for it and she said oh, me and I said don't worry I'm gonna be paying for it with you I said you're gonna be paying five six dollars a gallon for gas and you can best believe it I said, you just make sure that you keep that mask on. And she wasn't wearing a mask. And uh, that woman uh, will tell you, I'm not kidding you. And um, I mean, I wasn't yelling and screaming, but my voice could be heard. And um, that's in a somewhat of a black area there. So um, black people have a, a non-understanding, generally speaking, of what illegal immigration does uh, to the job market as you try to go out and get work, evidently. I don't know, it's a puzzle to me, but um, I can't understand it. The whole thing just leaves me dumbfounded, okay? Anyway, she's a nice gal, and uh, we welcome her here if um, if she's on. If we see subscriber number 31, she's on, but she, she was um, my age, so I'm not sure, uh, you know, she has a YouTube channel. Anyways, we're gonna start out with only one report of the markets and that's Bitcoin. Bitcoin is on a tear. It's at 22.9. I do not deny that Bitcoin is going up by leaps and bounds. My worry about Bitcoin is that eventually when it becomes a threat to the money system, uh, which will happen in a period of time, uh, it they may have a way to deal with it. And that is they may start regulating by retina scan or some other way uh, that you're going to have to identify yourself before you get on the internet and if that's the case and you lose your privileges to go on to the internet except for government and state sites and sites that you can do this for and sites for government information that you may be allowed on but that's a possibility and it worries me why because you mindless idiots my subs excluded you keep going along with everything you keep going along with everything. What do you want me to tell you? What do you want me to tell you? What do you want me to say? Okay. So this may be a very short news read. I've done this news three times. My phone fell over twice. So um, this is the third time. So I may be more confused than normal. That I did Breitbart first and then I went into Drudge. Here are the two crossover stories. There was a, a, a mass shooting last night. Ten dead, ten injured. And it may be more injured, we'll have to see. Um, dealing with a shooter going into an establishment and there was evidently something connected to it or the police suspect it's connected two miles down the road. And um, something is gonna have to be done. Either we're going to have to have an armed society and people are gonna have to be required um, to be instructed in the use of firearms or they're gonna have to cut the capacity of these uh, magazines and folks there are tons and tons and tons and tons of them they're gonna be available in the black market the criminals will have access to it you won't it's a complicated problem you can ban guns right now but there's going to be I think they said right now that there's over a half a billion guns we've had rifles I'm not talking about flintlocks of the old old style guns but modern technology 
repeating guns for almost 150 years. So don't think that there's only going to be a few left on the street. There are going to be millions upon millions. So I don't see that banning guns is going to solve the problem. Or even banning clips. There's just too many. But they may have to do it. They may have to ban clips. I don't know. But I think the answer is more like... <laughs> Maybe if you want to get a driver's license, you're going to have to be instructed on how to carry a gun. And you're going to have to be trained. It, 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 who knows? You want a driver's license? You're going to have to be trained on how to fire a pistol. I, I mean, I don't know. Either that or they're going to have to ban guns or something. I don't know. You know, uh, the teachers don't want to do it. The teachers don't want to be trained in gun use because they're all leftists, mostly. And they don't want it. I don't blame them, but it may come to that because it's a serious problem. Uh, the other crossover story was um, the nightclub shooting, and they found more documents in um, retard, uh, the house of retard there, um, our illustrious leader of the United States, okay? So um, they found a lot more stuff, okay? That's all I got to say. Uh, we've got Drudge Report right here. Now let's get into it. Yeah, the... Um, uh, the uh, FBI um, searches Biden home. DOJ considers other location. Since they're all, in my opinion, this is just my opinion, folks, they're all leftists. They're all leftists. They don't think that they're leftists, but when you want to strip the American public of their self-defense uh, by means of firearms, you're a leftist. It means you have plans for us that you don't want to be able to have the American people fight. And that's exactly what they did in China. I explained it to my son, and my son took a little while for uh, to understand it. Don't forget that there's a translation problem. But my son finally understood that it's a hell of a lot easier to extract people who don't want to do this from their place where they live than if they know that they have a rifle or a, a pistol and that they are determined not to go out of their place and that's a difference between sending in six or eight uh, white clad health workers and uh, eight or ten uh, health care workers and uh, seven or eight um, police officers to go in and escort them and you may wind up getting dead police officers out of that deal. I'm just telling you the truth. There are some people who will not comply, period. And that has to be accounted for. And uh, it could get real squirrely. And my son finally understood that. It took me a while to make him see that. And like, like I told you, don't forget, English is his second language. His mother continues to try to make him uh, whatever that is over there. So my son is half human. I know that. We've already discussed this. But even the one-eyed man will be king among the land of the blind. So my son has a, a tremendous advantage and he has half human blood. The other half is his mother talking that, that, that garbage crap to him. Okay? Tagalog. Which I got my own feelings on and I won't expand on it. Okay? Now, this may be a very short report, because if it's not interesting, I'm not going there. All right, evidently there's a low-income housing project that is starting up in the billionaire playground of Nantucket. I think, believe that's in Massachusetts. So, uh, get used to it, folks. You're not exempt. So you can vote Democrat until the cows come home, okay? I know that's what you all are over there. Top Border Patrol official resigns after allegedly pressuring employees for sex. Schools face pressure to take harder line on discipline. I don't know. I, I, you know, honestly, uh, if people smell a fart down there, they can sue you. So how in the world do you want schools to put more discipline and more pressure on anyone when they can get sued. So it's uh, because we're litigious. We're a litigious society or a, a society that likes to litigate over anything. So I don't think you're going to see any more, um, you know, any more of that stuff. Okay. I don't, I don't, I just don't think so. All right. Let's keep going. 
cards about that Chinese New Year massacre. Ten dead, ten injured. It'll go up, I'm quite sure. Uh, cops probing shooting two miles away. Uh, thousands of churches closing every year in the U.S. What do you think happens when you put them out of business for two and a half years? The coffers go dry. They still have to put on a new roof. They still have to maintain the structure and everything else. What do you expect? But you dummies over here with this and all the rest of that garbage, you don't care. To you, this is all something that you need to obey. We won't get into it. Uh, Trump team struggles to muster support ahead of South Carolina event. Folks, there's no Republican that's ever going to be installed into the government again. They've already demonized Trump. They've demonized every Republican, every story you see on every network, with the exception of Fox, and they do it in a much more subtle way. They're part of the problem, too, as you know. Um, it'll never happen. And South Carolina is full of black people, and black people do not get it. They do not understand the problem of illegal immigration. They just know that you white. And if you white, you tron. If you tron and you tron, you tron, you tron. You're going to vote for tron. So this is the problem. And I'm sorry to say that. It hurts me because black people have been here in this country a long, long time. A long time. They deserve to be here. We know everything about this, but they don't understand. They're not understanding this by and large. I'm not saying everyone, but by and large, they don't understand. I talked to that woman today in the grocery store. She says her cart used to be this high, over, stacked over, and she could afford that. Now she can't afford that anymore. Wait till we get done with Ukraine. Yeah, we're gonna be, we're gonna be in that for a long, long time, folks. There are going to be trillions going into that, and your sons and daughters are likely going to go. You understand? I know you don't understand. We'll continue on. We will continue on. All right, that remember Diamond and Silk, the two heavy set black women that were um, they were cute, you know? They were cute, and they were um, Trump's cheerleaders there during the the 2016 election. Well, one of them, one of them has died. So um, the, the party got kind of broken up there. The, not the party, but the send-off. They gave her a send-off funeral. And um, a Diamond or uh, Silk or whatever, the surviving one, said that she was poisoned. Um, who knows? But uh, it's kind of hard to sell that uh, when you're uh, morbidly obese. And I'm getting that way too. And that's why I'm trying so hard. Um, you know, buying Frisbees and getting out there and exercising and walking in the morning and all that kind of stuff, five, six miles a day, and I need to do more. So you just can't run that down so easily and try to make people believe it. It's possible. Who knows? Uh, Santos married that woman and then uh, got engaged to a man. All that garbage. we already been there. It's part of having homosexuality. Uh, completely accepted and revered in your country. It's the beginning of the end. That's my opinion on it. It's just my opinion. Uh, it says he admitted drag, but denies that he was queen. All right, well, whatever, okay? NATO fracturing, European leaders in battle of wills. Ukraine winter could turn against Russian troops. Then again, they could bring in another million and a half troops and lay waste to Ukraine. I know you folks didn't think of that. Uh, the world thinks that America is in decline. Uh, crypto queen scammed investors out of $4 billion, then she disappeared. Who is this? Uh, this is from CNN. I don't know who the woman is. Oh, it's uh, Ruja Ignavota. Uh, well, she certainly is a good-looking gal. Uh, probably Indian, I would imagine. I don't know, but um, uh, she'd get my money, frankly. If there were any fringe benefits, she would get my money. She's now on the top 10 FBI's most wanted list. So uh, there you have it. If you see her, let them know, by all means. Okay, let's continue on. Sorry, folks. 
Uh, LAPD bans, quote, thin blue line, unquote, flags. What's that about? What's that about? Um, is that that? Is that that? I don't know what that is. Um, for some, the thin blue line, quote, unquote, flag is an expression of solidarity with police officers who have lost their lives on the job. To others, the black and white American flag with a single blue stripe is a potent symbol of the ties between right-wing extremism and American law enforcement. Okay, so evidently that's why they're banning it. Okay, so, all right. Oh, evidently there's a big market for dog walking, okay? So, um, they make over $100,000, all right? Sue thy neighbor, homeowner spats get nastier. Uh, Gisalane Maxwell gives first prison interview. Um, uh, Peru closes Machu Picchu um, as anti-government protests grow. That's a pretty big deal because they make a lot of money off Machu Picchu. They make a lot of money off that. China says that the scam outbreak has infected 80% of the population. And as you know, there's only uh, 200,000 Chinese left, huh? Right. That, of course, is not true. Pig kills butcher at slaughterhouse. Are you surprised? Jeez, one time I was in the Philippines, and they take these big sows, these big hogs, and some of them are like 800 pounds. I mean, they're huge. And I've seen them take them on these little uh, bicycles that have like a platform. And I've seen them before. I've seen what they do and they put them like on these platforms and it's unbelievable. And it, it, you wouldn't believe how difficult it is to, to, uh, to control a hog. And um, I'm not surprised that a hog killed somebody. Man, you have never seen it. And they fight like the Dickens and they know where they're going too. They know. So that, that's not surprising. I'm surprised it doesn't happen more. I watched the Filipino do it, and he was unbelievable. He did it with a pair of sandals on and a, a pair of shorts. He didn't even have a shirt. And he was covered with you-know-what. When he was done, he was kicking the thing and pushing it. and I mean, you, you name it. I wasn't blaming him either. Those things are terrible. Hogs are terrible. So my is good? Yeah, I'm going to be leaving here in about maybe 40 minutes. Don't you worry, I won't I won't damage your car. Oh, okay. Hondas are only forty grand. Are they? No, just I told you if you want I No, don't worry. I'll take care of it. Don't don't you I'll be in there for a soda. And you can you can hit me or punch me then. I won't I won't mess no, up your car. Thank you, sir. Listen, is it a cord? Huh? Is it a cord? Please, Man, they're like they're like forty thousand dollars. When I bought this I tried to get a used accord and if it was like a twenty ten, oh. it was like twenty thousand dollars. So I got this for 10000 That's all I could afford. Take care. Don't worry about your car. I'll be in there for a soda. I think I'm not parking. No, no, don't worry about it. I'll take care of it. I'll be in there getting a soda. Bye. Bye. Take care. All right. So, and that's about it, folks. That's about it. That's the news report. Anyways, that's a nice guy. He's the owner of 7-Eleven here. Nice guy. Nice fellow. I'm glad I was talking bad about pigs, <laughs> frankly. <laughs> Anyways, um, that's a little inside joke. You know that you don't have to worry. I explain all jokes on this channel, okay? Obviously, uh, Muslim men, which is probably what that was, they don't care for pigs, okay? So, <laughs> Anyways, take care, and I will talk to you later.